Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create loops in Flow Designer. What do I mean by loops? Well, does this code here look at all familiar to you? It's a simple JavaScript while loop where we want to execute a block of code for a certain number of times until some condition is met and then we stop executing that block of code. Well, you can do the same thing in Flow Designer. Let's find out how. So I'm going to use a very simple example just to create five incident records. It's not a very useful use case, but we're going to focus on the logic rather than what we're actually going to be doing with the logic. So I'll go ahead and create a new flow. And call it create five incidents. <laughs> so our trigger is also not important for this example. So I will just have this run every day at eight o'clock. And before I go and start building out my flow, the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable. So I will save my flow, first of all, save often. And then come to the three dots, the ellipsis up here, and go to flow variables and create one. I'm going to call mine records. Okay, and it's going to be a string. Close that. So we can see now we've got a new flow variable called records here. The first thing I'm going to do with my flow now is to set a value for that variable. Now it's not an action here. You have to come to flow logic and then come down here to set flow variables. We come here, select our variable records and then just give it some value. In my case, it's going to be five. So click on done. And now I can build out my flow. Now I can do my do something until, do the following until, select that. Okay, so now you can see we've got a little block uh, of code here. So we're going to be doing something in here until some condition is met. Okay, in this block of code or in this block in Flow Designer, uh, I'm going to simply create a record. I'm going to go ahead and just create an incident. I will put in the caller as the system administrator. And I will also add a value for the short description and pop in fix something until it's fixed. Okay, so we're actually going to create five of these. So how do we do that? We've created a record. What do we need to do next? Well, in JavaScript, you would increment the value of the variable. So that's exactly what we're going to do here as well. So I come to here and then go to flow logic again. And this time, come down to set flow variables. Again, we select our variable, records. And now I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop the flow variables here, records, over in here. So the value will be set to five, okay, initially. We did that right at the beginning of our flow. So what we're going to do here is decrease the value of that by one. So the way to do that in Flow Designer and this is one of the great things about Flow Designer now is that with your data pills that you use in your flow, you have access to what we call these transform functions right here. Okay, you can see the little FX symbol there. So just click on that. And we've got a whole library of transformations that we can perform on this value. So the one that we want is under math. And then we just scroll down to subtract. What do we want to subtract? One. Okay. Click on apply. And we are done with that action. So after this little block has run through the first time, we're going to decrease the value of our variable, subtract one, and now it will be equal to four. And we're going to continue doing that until the value of the variable is zero. So my condition here will be when the value for this variable records is zero. 
and that's it. Okay, so we can save this and we can go ahead and test it. And once we do that, we could go back to my list of incidents here. I've already got a filter here, filtering according to the subject that I specified for the incidents and the flow. Just refresh this. And we can see we've got five incidents now, all with the same caller, all with the same subject. Again, a very simple example. It's not a real use case, but you can see what the possibilities are. Uh, as far as doing something until something else happens. And here we've got basically a replication of what you would typically have in JavaScript with your for and while uh, loops. So that's it. That's how you go ahead and do it in Flow Designer. So I hope this little demonstration helps you with your flows in the future.